Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing y'all how to get this blown out look without a blow dryer or even hot air for that matter in a fraction of the time. And to achieve this look, I'm going to be using the Amica Bombshell Blowout Thermal Brush, which allows you to get a bombshell blowout without the hassle of a blow dryer. I'm also using these silver clips to help set the curls. To get started, I just kind of sectioned off the bottom um, section of my hair like I would if I was straightening it or curling it. And I'm just going to treat the round brush as if I was actually blowing out my hair. And I'm going to kind of wrap it up like I would a curling iron and then kind of circle it around away from my face. Um, then I'm going to take the curl and roll it up because it's one of the back sections and that will help give the hair some volume and lift. And then pin it in place with the curl setting clip. Setting the curls will help um, make them last longer and it's also easier to kind of work through the sections when you set them like that. And then you pretty much just do this throughout your whole head, um, doing small sections and wrapping them up, letting them sit until you can kind of feel that it's hot, but careful not to touch um, the brush too closely because I've definitely burned myself doing that. And again, just so y'all can see, taking that section that you just curled and rolling it up to your scalp um, under and then pinning it in place. And now you just keep doing this throughout your head um, and pulling down sections at a time. I find that taking smaller sections down helps, um, it's, it makes it easier to work so you're not overwhelmed by a ton of hair. And sorry, I'm talking to my mom in the video. She came over to my house when I was filming this. Also important, brush out the sections in between when you take them down because my hair gets very tingly and obviously it's easier to curl um, and just really just do any kind of styling when your hair is tingle free. And you can saw I kind of smoothed the brush down, pulled it, and then wrapped it up and rolled it up like I would have like a curling iron. After you've held it there for about 10 seconds, make sure that you're kind of twisting the brush away from your face because you want the curls um, to be framing your face. See, I told y'all, don't touch it too much or you'll burn yourself like me. Now I'm just going to fast forward through because y'all have kind of seen what I've done and I'm just going to do the rest of my head. So a little bit more about the Amica Bombshell Blowout Brush. It has a one and a half inch ceramic barrel which emits far infrared heat which helps preserve moisture for healthy looking and hydrated hair. If you're short on time, you don't have to do your whole head. You can just focus on curling the front pieces of your hair which helps create some more lift and volume. When you get to the front sections, you're going to want to start wrapping them and rolling them backwards and that will help give more volume in the front. To help set them even better, I'm finishing off by spraying them with my Fave 4 Texture Takeover Hairspray. Y'all know I love this and now just wait for about 10 to 15 minutes and you can do your makeup or whatever, but obviously I stopped recording and came back and now I'm just taking out all of the hairpins. Once all the pins are removed, it might look a little crazy, it might look awesome. So if there's any sections that, you know, got a little funky, you might want to re-go over them with a brush. I'm kind of doing that at the back crown of my head to give the back a little bit more lift and volume. You can just kind of see how it lifted that back section up. I always love to flip my hair over, I don't know why. And just kind of comb through any pieces and keep on fluffing. And that's the finished look. It's, it's not super curly and but it gives you amazing volume. It just makes your hair look pretty. Like, like you've gone to the blow dry bar without, you know, paying the hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, however much it costs. You know, you buy this one tool and you can use it over and over and over and achieve this look on your own very easily. I freaking love this Amica bombshell brush. I find myself using it every morning because I have terrible bed head and it really just helps give me some lift at the root and kind of look like my hair is freshly done when it we all know it's not. <laughs> Finally, to set my hair, I'm going over it again with the Fave 4 Texture Takeover Hairspray just to make sure that what we've done stays in place all day. It's so easy to recreate this blowout look at home with the Amica Bombshell Brush. Y'all please remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye!